Police officers in Apapa have killed two suspected armed robbers during a failed robbery attempt at the Nasco building. The incident happened at 1 p.m. and four of the armed robbers escaped following a shootout with the police. According to the DPO, Muhammad Ali, the police had been trailing the gang from the Burma area in Apapa after they had received a tip-off from an unknown source. The Lagos State House of Assembly has resumed its session after a two-week recess. The state legislative arm is set to consider the waterfront development in Victoria Island as its first priority. Illegal traders selling by the roadside in Etiasa local government have been given 24 hours to relocate. The order was issued by the chairman of the council, Mr. Olani Waju, in Obalende earlier today. The order is part of the council's effort at implementing the legislation on street trading. Aides of Nigeria's president, Musa Yaradua, have invited his supporters from around the country to celebrate his anticipated victory at the Supreme Court today. The supporters have converged at the premises of the court in Garaki and plan to jubilate in the streets of Abuja after the judgment. Suspected armed robbers have attacked a branch of Zenith Bank in Lekki. The incident occurred at about 10 a.m. Witnesses say the robbers fired shots in order to force their way into the bank. There are no reports of police response to the attack yet. Three weeks ago, the police and suspected robbers exchanged fire at the UBA branch in Lekki. The worry zone of the National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers has suspended its strike, which began on Thursday. According to the coordinator of the Lagos Zone, the group had decided to resolve their differences through dialogue. The strike was a protest to the plans of a contractor to Chevron Nigeria Limited, Paul Maz, to lay off 122 workers for joining the union. The Supreme Court has upheld the election of President Musa Yaradwa and Vice President Goodluck Jonathan. The justices of the court ruled in Yaradwa's favor. In a four to three majority, a Mohammed Buhari's case and six to one majority in Atiku Abubakar's case. The two candidates in last year's presidential election had gone to the Supreme Court after their petitions challenging Yaradwa's elections were dismissed at the Court of Appeal. The Lagos State Government has, has said it may close the Ikeja and Mushi markets as a result of tax evasion by the traders. The Director of Special Duties at the State Internal Revenue Service, Mr. Kunle Husseini, gave the indication that the markets may soon be closed. About two weeks ago, the computer village in Ikeja was closed by officials for a similar reason and has since been reopened. That's next news. Thank you for watching.